This Amprex is doing crazy damage in the brightest days. It's doing crazy damage in the blackest nights. I'm letting you know right now, if she got a big booty, she will not escape my sight. Let all those who worship the Soma beware my fight because this Amprex ain't got no ribbon, right? Yo guys, what's going on? Life of Rio here, man. Listen, fam, we're back with another video. I hope that you guys enjoy my content in any way. If you guys do, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you are entertained. If you learn anything or you enjoy the videos, the thumbs up would really help the channel so much and share the videos. Thank you guys so much for everything. Now, what we're going to be talking about today is the Amprex. I'm going to be showing you guys two different builds. The really good thing about the Amprex is that after the buff is just completely insane. It works with all types of frames. Every single frame can use it to its max potential. The next thing about it that I want to say is that if you have a ribbon for this weapon, please drop your address in the comment section with times that you will not be at the house. But please be sure to leave your game on so that I can trade it to myself. I don't want it to be awkward when you're there with me personally robbing you. So thank you guys so much. And here's the thing. In this video, I don't own a ribbon at all. So it's just all of this insane damage is just coming from the Amprex. I've shown it in my last Trinity video when a lot of people is asking me to actually put up an Amprex build. So the thing about the Amprex is what makes it so fun is that you guys know I'm a sucker for AoE weapons. AoE weapons are lit. This thing is definitely endgame. It's super, super strong. There's a few frames that can bring out its max potential which makes it a lot crazier. But even without using specific frames, this weapon is just completely insane and on its own. And it holds up to every single high level enemy. It strips armor, it strips um, every single enemies of their confidence. It's just completely insane, it washes. And the thing is, it's great for keeping up kills per second, which is then gonna give you a higher chance of actually getting RNG drops from other enemies because then you're forcing the spawns to spawn a lot faster because you're killing enemies so quick. And that's the really good thing about the Amprex and why I really like it. Plus, the main important thing about this entire buff from the Amprex is one, the damage from beam weapons is completely ridiculous and the Amprex is actually showing that without a ribbon that's actually needed and the ribbon disposition is actually lit. It has a great ribbon disposition. Now the thing about it, what makes it crazy is this. The ammo efficiency. That's a big word for a lot of people that don't understand. Ammo efficiency. Listen, the ammo efficiency on this weapon is completely ridiculous. I did not fall under half of the ammo for the entire run. No matter, I tried it with carrier and even without carrier. I went so far with this weapon just holding the trigger. Now, I'm not a guy that's out here that's just holding the trigger all the time. I'm, I'm, I'm always about the, the burst fire, right? But this weapon, you can just hold the trigger. You're not running out of ammo unless you're standing in one spot, dude. Like, this thing is completely ridiculous. And when I seen the ammo efficiency on it, I was like, oh my God, Amprex, you look so different. I love you. Like, one way to captivate me is ammo efficiency because ammo efficiency is really going to tell you how good the weapon is and how much resources you have to burn to actually use that weapon in high-end gameplay. Now, if you're not doing high-end gameplay, it's a little bit too strong for the content that you're doing. Like, with these builds, it's a little bit too strong for the content. Like, for casual content, like, I'm not even going to lie. There's no reason to use this weapon. Please go up in there with a Soma. Um, so the thing about this one is that the Amprex works against all factions. It comes with base electricity. The only thing I would say about it is that it has like a short range, but that short range can even be fixed. Now, there's different unique builds and everything else that you can actually use on this weapon. And one of those unique builds and things that you have for it is definitely going to be like how you can put punch through on the weapon and let the main beam hit an extra enemy which is then going to give you more little break offs um electricity points to where it hits more enemies which it will give you more cc and more damage so it all depends on the build that you want to do on the frames that you want to actually synergize this weapon with so i'm going to go into a little bit of demonstrations you know that's french for demonstrations and actually guys show you show you guys what's actually going on with the damage now what i'm going to be showing you guys first um, is definitely going to be the build with a dual stat um, mod and then I'm going to show you guys the build with a um, multi-shot mod. So let's go ahead and jump into it and let me see what you guys think. Now this is what a dual stat mod and what I'm going to be showing you guys right here and the dual stat mod depending on the build that you're using does insane damage no matter what with no buffs. Actually I'm just using this with Oberon just standing in front of the enemies. Just showing you guys a quick demonstration and this is it with Voban again with no buffs also and this is the same with a dual stat mod. It does crazy amount of damage man. I'm kind of like really happy 
about the amount of damage that this weapon does now this is the build it's going to be a five form of build now as you guys can see high voltage is there and then in the next build i'm going to be showing you guys a little bit something different depending on if you're the type of player that actually owns these mods. So I want to show you different levels of what you can actually do with this weapon. So um, heavy cal on this weapon is not a bad thing if you want to max it out. Everything works great on it. It's Remember, it's a five form of build. I really do hope that you guys enjoy the build. So it, it all depends on you. All of my long runs I did with the high voltage. And then also you can make it a little bit different. This build right here, what I'm showing you guys with the Naros, is then going to be with the, the extra 60% uh, vigilant um, multi-shot mod which is going to be on you get a lot more red crits a lot more efficiently and things like that and the damage is completely insane as well so it all depends on you if you own these mods I never want to tell you what build to actually put in stone to use but I at least want to give you guys a blueprint of things that you can try just so you guys can understand from a different point of view from where it's coming from now I didn't really do the multi I mean the punch through on here but it is completely decent as well it's definitely for the content in the game now this is it this is the build all I did was switch out the dual stat mod and if the thing about this one is that if you want to switch from corrosive you're gonna have to switch around you're gonna have to switch around your formulas because I have a dash which is gonna be for the 90% but if you wanted to go viral it's gonna be a little bit different a little bit harder so you want to switch around your formulas a little bit but that is what I got for you guys for the build. Hope that you guys enjoy that. Hope that you guys did. I had fun doing the builds. Now, listen, there's one thing I want to tell you guys. If you want to follow me over on Twitch, that is where I am. All of these runs I do over on Twitch. I just be having fun talking to people. We have a good time over there. Come over on Twitch and check it out, man, and chill with me. We just be chilling. Now, the thing about the Amprex that I want to point out is, like, if you're using it with a frame that has, like, a damage buff on it, you can even put things on there like... Um, um, like Rhino, for instance, when he uses Roar. Oh my God, fam. The damage gets so completely insane that it makes no sense when you use it with like Mirage. And let's say you use it with Mirage and then you have Mirage and then use a Punch Through mod on it. If you want to fit that someplace in your build. And let's say you have Punch Through on your Riven. Oh my God. Mirage's clones actually then get an extra beam. Yo, it's ridiculous. Now, if you have a Riven... Please, I'm letting you know, you are blessed right now. That Riven is completely ridiculous on it. Things that I would be looking for on the Riven, obviously just raw damage. Status isn't that much of a big deal to me, but raw damage, um, punch through would be cool, um, and multi-shot. Multi-shot is completely insane. Or if you have faction damage, really good faction damage, either one is fine. But multi-shot, raw damage, and multi-shot, raw damage, and then just like punch through would be great. Man, listen, it's just a fun weapon, and it's hard to have a fun weapon that actually do the damage that you actually want it to do. So this is in my top runnings for um, top melee, I mean top primary weapons for you to actually use in Endgame, and I would suggest for every single one of you out there to go build yourself an Amprex because it's doing things. It's going places. The Amprex right now is reminding me of that one girl that was kind of ugly, but then she developed and she got all her parts and everything. And now she's looking great in her, you know, business suit. She's running her own business. And when you try to talk to her now, she kind of curve you. But even though she never looked bad in the first place, Amprex was always good. It just was terrible on ammo efficiency. And now that the ammo efficiency is there, I have no complaints. I have nothing to say. Because the damage definitely makes up for the type of range that it has. And I'm a happy sailor at the end of the day. So if you guys have an Amprex, definitely max form of this one. This is something that I would tell you. Is is the Amprex something that is worth your time and effort of what you want to actually waste formers into? Yes. Wasted. Wasted. Call that one friend up and tell him to donate you a former pack. Because you need to get this Amprex out there. And it does not matter the content. You're going to be locking it down knocking this stuff out the park anyway frames that I, the reason why i use it with volt um the reason why i rock it with volt because it fits the theme do is there anybody else out there that does like a theme setup because if you guys do a theme setup let me know a what frame you do a theme with like ember with like fire weapons atomos and things like that which is another weapon that i'm going to be bringing up for a build but like with volt it's the whole electricity theme man it just fits high voltage volt he looks pretty lit with it Plus, you know, he adds to the damage potential with his shield with the two times multiplier. But I really do hope that you guys enjoy the video. Please be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Share the video if you thought the video was helpful anyway. If you enjoyed the build, 
Thank you guys so much for the love and support. I am here to just actually help you guys, give you guys a blueprint. You already know your fam. If you're following me over on Twitch, you guys know I'm streaming every single day, every day, bro. Every day, bro. So thank you guys. Much love. I'm going to catch you guys later. I'm going to show a little bit more of the gameplay because a lot of people wanted me to show the gameplay. And that's been a thing. So thank you guys for actually wanting to see more of the gameplay of things that I do. Much love. Hope that you guys enjoy. Time stampers. If anybody need a timestamp, can you guys help me out in the comment section? Thank you guys for, you know, being here. And then also the humor and the entertainment. That's what I want to bring to my video. So if you guys check me out on any other videos while I'm streaming, I'm bringing entertainment. So much love. Take care, guys. All right. So for right here, I'm going to be telling you guys because people has been asking while I'm talking about the end of the videos, while I'm showing the rest of the gameplay to let you guys know what I was actually doing. So right here with the Amprex, I'm shooting through Volt Shield. I'm getting the damage multiplier on my Amprex with the two times extra damage, but that's not it. If you guys have not seen my Volt build, I will definitely have a link to that up for you guys. Um, my Transistor Shield Volt. Now, basically what's happened is that every time the enemy shoot my shield, I get an extra thousand percent damage, which is then going to be applied to the overall damage of my Amprex, which is then going to make it hit incredibly hard. It's so crazy. And then also I have my Zenny Star thrown out there. My Zenny Star is going to give me my extra CC, which is going to be the Radiation Viral. And that's going to be out there. I have a Sarah Inspector. Um, and, but the Sarah Inspector has been missing shots. Like look at the shot. She missing. She cross eyed it. She ain't even shooting nothing, but it's fine. Um, I just have it out there for good distractions and stuff like that. But the Amprex, I'm also comboing the elemental combo of what I'm doing with my Zenny Star. And then I'm using my two to speed up my Zenny Star. So if you guys don't know, speed can actually buff the Zenny Star's overall base damage by making it spin faster and apply more damage a lot quicker, which is what I'm doing as well to actually keep up with the enemy scaling so that I can keep killing a lot faster and a lot more efficiently. So that's what's been actually going on. When you can combo these things together with weapon synergy with Volt and things that you can actually um, apply with elemental comboing, it is the greatest thing for me and I really do hope that you guys enjoy it. Volt can actually do a lot, man. Um, I use my first ability rarely because I have the CC which is going to be radiation um, with the transistor shield volt I don't have on max range or nothing like that I have really reduced range because all I focus on with volt is then going to be the shield because the shield is one of the greatest abilities in the game and one of volt's strongest moves in his kit and so it does a tremendous amount of damage on how you set it up and you want as much duration up as possible because the more duration you have then that means that you don't have to spam as much so volt's great Hope that you guys did enjoy the video. And if you want to keep watching, let me know if you guys enjoy it. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day. And that's the breakdown of what I had. Zenny Star Viral Radiation. Amprex is then going to be corrosive with the Slash Proc from Hunter Munition, which is then going to be hitting the radi I mean the Viral on Volts. Um, not Volts, but the Viral on my Zenny Star. And so that's going to combo with each other, which is going to make me kill the enemies a lot faster and a lot more efficiently. If you guys ever wondered... What's actually going on is that Viral cuts the enemy's health in half and then the Slash Prox help take down the overall base health a lot faster while it's already cut in half. So hope that you guys understand this energy. Hope that you enjoyed it as well. Catch you guys later.